Now a story about the Easter Bunny. No, no, not that one. I'm talking about real rabbits here. In tonight's Weekend Journal, no bunny knows the story quite like CBS's Etai Hod. Just before Easter, Ben Vanderveer, a father of two, found himself in a hair-raising predicament. You tell your kids that you're going to look at a house full of bunny rabbits and that dominates the attention and discussion for the day. Last year, nine-year-old Delphine and five-year-old Adrian visited relatives who had a bunny. Since then, it's all they talk about. Hello. Let's go. Which is why Ben decided to take a leap of faith. A little black nose. Heading to a rabbit rescue just north of San Francisco for a little bunny bonding. Good girl. Save a Bunny founder Marcy Berman says a lot of parents get their kids bunnies for Easter, but raising a rabbit is a lot of work. My good girl. It's why rescues get full about two weeks after Easter just as the novelty of having a bunny wears off. It's been a super crisis in the Bay Area, and it's probably only going to get worse. According to PETA, about 80% of rabbits bought for Easter will die or be abandoned within the first year. These rabbits are not wild, and so when you set a bunny free, you're just really feeding the wildlife. To try and combat the problem, Save a Bunny now offers a foster-to-adopt program essentially giving people a trial run for bunny parenthood. She's about a year old. At the end of the day, the Vanderveers fall in love with Yvette, a mini lop rabbit with floppy ears. Are you excited about getting a bunny? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> As for Delphine and Adrian, they're jumping for joy now that they found some bunny to love. Isn't that pretty? Itai Hot, CBS News, Mill Valley, California.